What's up, Cannonballs? We're back for a short quick second. So I was checking out a video that I felt like it was kind of ignorant. So when you are a content creator, you do have a right to have an opinion whether you whether you are a, whether you are a subscriber. But see, when you are when you are subscribed to another content creator, even though you are a content creator, you have you you have a right to give your opinion on something. You know, I would love for my subscribers to tell me when I'm fucking up. But see, when you have this whole I'm always right mentality, you can't see your wrongdoings. You will never, ever see your wrongdoings, which is why I save my breath and my energy. I save it. Because when someone is so... mm, I guess it's the pride when they pride is too high and they just think they, they are just this and that they won't be able to hear the advice that you have for them so they so, so they can take heed to it but you know what cannonball is not saving any of them I'm not saving none of you you want to make those decisions go out there and make them make that bed and you lay in it deal with the repercussions of your actions you know, there's nothing wrong with a content creator giving another content creator some advice if they are subscribed to you. Do you want everybody to just go along to get along? You got to have somebody out the bunch to tell you the truth. But you know what? When you deal with evilness, because that's what it is. And in, in a lot of these people, they can't hear that. They can't, they weren't able to really um comprehend to what you are saying to them. That's why I don't waste my time even mentioning certain individuals because they're not going to get it. They will never get it. Never get it. I save my breath because when 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 stuff hit the fan, I don't want to hear nobody coming back to me saying, "Oh, he was right." Yeah, I know I was right. I know I was right. I was only trying to help you out. But you know what? It's time for people to stop being Captain Zabo. Let these folks go out there and have really make those mistakes. And we're just gonna sit back and we're gonna laugh. Cause that's what we're gonna that's, that's what we did the first time. We're gonna laugh at you, not with you. Mm-hmm. So people wanna take stuff off of YouTube, go right ahead. And you be you, and you see and see some of these people that realize their asses will be <laughs> be going to jail or they or they be right back in jail <laughs> and back on probate on um, probation for the silliness of it all something that could be perv- you know avoided I mean not avoided but um some well they well yeah they can avoid this they can avoid all this bullshit from happening by listening and taking heed to what a person has to say to them. That's why I stop. I really, I'm going to tell you the truth. That's why I stop. <laughs> I stop talking to certain people, a few, a few, a few, um, a few people in my life and on YouTube because they did not want to take what I had for them, really giving them advice. They didn't want to take it. They want. They wanted to. They wanted to do their own thing, and I let them. You know, I'm always the one trying to give people the heads up. But you know what? Mm-mm. I had to cut that short. I had. I look. I had to cut that short. There has been plenty of times where I have tried to save people from situations. But did you know what? You know what happened? <laughs> the opposite. They got in trouble. They didn't listen to my advice. You know? They didn't listen to the to my words of encouragement. You know, to help them do better. No, they wanted they wanted to do the opposite of what they know not to do. And they found their asses right back in trouble. Do you think I'm over here feeling sorry? No. 
No one force, forces, forces you to do wrong. You are in control of whatever you do in your life. You are. And you're the one that have to deal with the repercussions of that, of your actions. All because you didn't listen. See, a lot of people, and I'm going to say this too, a lot of people... They don't listen. They only they don't. They, they, they're, they're they're so busy trying to respond instead of really comprehending what you're saying. You know, it's a difference. You know, <laughs> and once you get once you once you get to a point where you are listening to understand instead of trying to hear them respond back to what that person is saying to you, you will be mm, you'll be a whole lot better. Listening is, you know, when listening is very, very important. Stop trying to give your opinion out so quick. Stop trying to have a fast, well, I would say a fast response. Take heed to what anybody is saying to you, especially if they try to save you from being in trouble. But you know what? If y'all want to continue to go on that path, being nasty, ugly, and a little bit demonic, go right ahead. Go right ahead. You know, I'm at a place right now where I'm really trying to change up some things in my life. You know, the old things that I used to do, <laughs> it's no fun. It's time to do a 360 and change. And I would suggest that to people that's out here on that type of, well, I would say that's that showing us unusual behaviors to change for the better for yourself, not for the people. Change, really, cha really change for God and in yourself and then third family. You know? I, I Look, I'd rather please God. <laughs> Cause you would never ever you would never ever be able to please people. Never. That's my main focus right there is pleasing God. But all, like all I'm saying is if you're going to continue to do wrong, expect it back to you. Expect all the negative back to you. It's crazy how people are on YouTube displaying these type of behaviors. Playing with the police. CPS. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm surprised so many people are. I am surprised that some of these people are, haven't been found dead yet. You know, playing with people's livelihoods, families, jobs. Oh my goodness. I am really surprised. That some of you guys have not hit the dust yet. You know? Or haven't got a little lead in that ass. All because of what you done did. All this doxing. <laughs> it's crazy to me. It ain't that damn it ain't that damn deep or serious. I ain't look, I ain't never been so mad at a person where I wanna um Look up their information. I don't. I, I don't do. I don't have the time for that. I don't care where you're from. I don't care what you eat. I don't care where you work. I don't care how many kids you got. I don't care where the hell you live at. I don't care what type of car you drive. I don't give a damn about none of that. I got my own shit to handle. Why the fuck I'm trying to handle my shit and your shit at the same damn time? Just to prove a fucking point. Are you kidding me? Get the hell out of here with that bullshit. And it's sad when I see people that's older than me doing like doing and acting in those type of in those type of um ways. That type of behavior is unacceptable to me. It's just unacceptable. But you know what? What goes around comes around. So when it's your day, don't be asking God why me. No. No, it, it ain't God why me. It was you. It was you. You chose 
to make those decisions. So deal with it. Whether it's behind bars or whether it's at home on house arrest. Or better yet, hopefully you don't lose your house or your car, your job. And you be out there on the streets, sleeping on the pavement underneath the bridge. Some of these people need to get some humbleness. What is it? Yeah, humbleness about. Well, humble, humble themselves. That's what it is. Humble themselves. Humble yourself. Because if you don't, you will be the cause of your own demise. Just like all these people in the entertainment business, they got all this money and they're still fucking up. It's them. It ain't the people. It's them. Yes, indeed. And I feel, and I find that to be even crazy. Because you do, you know, I mean, could you imagine being in those, being, being in their, being in their shoes? Them have, they are having opportunities that we probably would never even see or, you know, in our lifetime. But they still go out there and fuck it up. And I don't, I don't feel sorry for them. I don't feel sorry for, for them either. Even when they get their asses popped. And that was their fault, not mine's. Trying to be on this hood shit. And let me tell you like this. It's, if it blows my mind how so many people are willing to rep a set, rep a hood a lot faster than they will our father up, you know, up in heaven. That's, it, it, it blows my mind. It's like everybody, it's like, I'm, not, I, I'm trying to, how, how can I word it? How can I word it? It's like people, they give so much attention to all these other things. But when it comes to their Lord and Savior, he doesn't get that, he doesn't get the recognition. I wonder why is that? You think a hood can save you? You think a set gonna save you? When you're in some trouble? <laughs> no. No. I'm telling you, these people are just lost causes. Walking dead, if you ask me. The walking dead, literally. You know? And by that I mean, you, you can see somebody tomorrow. And they'll be probably gone on the, on the next day. Mm -hmm. or, the, or a few months from now. Or weeks. You know? Mm -hmm. All because of how they are living their lives. And I don't feel sorry for none of them. Whether they are doing, whether they are doing, well, well whether, they are, whether they are doing social media or not. I don't feel sorry for none of them. Take heed, folks, and notes. Do better for yourself, want better for yourself. If not, you'll still be in the same place. Thinking that you're always right. Mm-hmm. Thinking that you're always right. And then you'll be reaping the repercussions off of your actions. Mm-hmm. Whether it's in a cell or whether it's in hell. Bye, y'all.